I've got some quick and easy meals for those busy weeknights. Hello, hello everybody. Welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new. My name is Tamara. Today we are focusing on quick and easy. That's all we got time for right now, right? <laughs> We are stressing out about just feeding our family, finding time to feed our family, probably going through the drive through quite a bit more. So today I wanted to focus on quick and easy meal ideas. That way you can feed your family, we'll say 15, 20 minutes or less. I really hope you enjoy and let's go ahead and get cooking. If you don't have time for a classic cheeseburger on a busy weeknight, these burger wraps are my new go-to. When I tell y'all these were quick and easy, I'm not even playing. The hardest part was cooking the ground beef. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and cook up my ground beef. I'm seasoning it with some Suckle Busters 1836 beef rub. That is linked to my Amazon storefront. We love Suckle Busters seasoning. Now, you can definitely add in some onion, some pepper if you choose to. I left mine plain because I'm serving raw onion on the side. To go along with it, even though I needed a quick and easy meal, I wanted to, you know, kind of round it out, still make it delicious. So I made a quick burger sauce. And y'all, when I tell you this was good, it was so good. I feel like it really just brought this wrap together. And it was so easy to put together. You just mix all the ingredients. I will have the recipe linked down below. And you just let it sit in your fridge for a few minutes beforehand. And then you build your wraps. And this was, this was so good. <laughs> I just store it in a mason jar in the fridge and it will last a couple weeks in the fridge. And then you just sit everything out on the counter and let everybody build their own burger wraps. I've got my condiments, I've got my toppings, whatever your family likes on their burgers, have it out, let them build their own. We served it with mac and cheese this night and I'm telling y'all this was so stinking easy, <laughs> but it was so good. Like it's crazy how this was just so simple, but delicious. Calzones is another great quick and easy meal option and it also kind of changes up a traditional pizza night. Now of course we all love homemade pizzas, that's definitely a go-to for us and quick and easy, but sometimes we get bored of the same thing. Now yes, this is still technically a pizza, it's just in a pocket, but one of the things I love about doing these is that I can customize them to each person's liking. So you know, just Winston, he wanted just cheese and black olive. Of course the boys like all the meats and so that's one of the things I like about these is like I'm still keeping a classic, simple, quick and easy meal but I'm changing it up and customizing it per person. I will make sure to have the pizza dough recipe that I have been using for a while now. It is definitely my go-to. It's so quick and easy. So for one pizza crust recipe, I can get two calzones out of it. That just kind of gives you an idea if you want to make it homemade. By all means, don't make, if you don't have time to make homemade dough, don't make homemade dough. Get the boxes. Um, get the bags of dough that you just need to add water. Do what is best for you in the busy season that you're in right now. Now, for me, it's not that hard. I always have everything on hand. Um, so, you know, I can put that in the bread machine before I go pick up Winston. And then by the time I get back, it's done and I just have to, you know, roll it out, fill it, whatever the case is for the dough. Um, but by all means, take it easy. <laughs> <laughs> don't stress yourself out over supper. If you don't have time to make homemade dough, don't make homemade dough. Your family's still going to get fed either way. They're going to be happy and have full tummies, and that's all that matters. So I'm just rolling it out. Like I said, I do customize it per person. I've got my um, home canned pizza sauce, and then I just I have onions. I've got pepperonis. Of course, I have cheese. I've got black olives. I have ham. And you, you can use whatever. I've done meatballs before. We've done, you know, like meatball uh, and cheese calzones. Which those are really good, by the way. Um, but I just kept it simple this night and used stuff that we had in the fridge that needed to be used up.
here's what they look like right out of the oven i definitely should have crimped the sides a little bit more but they really don't matter because they tasted good and that's all that matters <laughs> you can definitely add on some garlic butter i just coated them with regular butter and then added italian seasoning and garlic powder on mine I always try to keep some sort of a smoked sausage in the freezer. That way I can have a quick and easy protein. This meal literally took maybe 10 minutes to put together, if that. This was so easy. I kind of did a spin on this barbecue chicken recipe that my best friend gave me to try. I tried it with the chicken. I'll try to find that video and link it down below. But I wanted to use that same kind of idea for the sauce, but do this with the smoked sausage and zucchini i've got some minute rice cooking in the microwave that takes about five minutes in the microwave so that was quick and easy and then i went ahead and cut up my sausage gave it some color on both sides added in my cut up zucchini i seasoned it with my heart i just used badia complete and then i'm just going to cook that for a couple minutes until that zucchini cooks down and then we will add our sauce now the original recipe that i was talking about with the chicken i will make sure to have it linked down below um, it calls for like the creamy Italian dressing. I think it's, it might be that Olive Garden dressing maybe, but I just used regular Italian dressing with some barbecue sauce that I had in my fridge. And this was so good, like so simple, so good. I actually meal prepped this for myself for the week. So this gave me a couple meals. This was so easy to put together, delicious. I just let that cook for a couple minutes just to kind of thicken up and then there is my minute rice this was so good i will definitely be making this again and definitely be meal prepping this again this grilled pesto chicken was so delicious super easy and it's perfect for these warmer spring and summer nights especially for a busy weeknight. I've got some thin cut chicken breast. That is a really good way to get supper out on the table a little bit faster, especially if you're cooking chicken. Use the thinner cutlets or take a full breast and cut it in half a long ways. That way you get thinner pieces and it doesn't take as long to cook. So I'm just seasoning it up. I've got some olive oil on there and then I've used Italian seasoning, garlic powder, onion powder, salt, pepper, you just season with your heart, whatever you know your family is going to enjoy. I'm just gonna let that sit for a couple minutes and then we will get it put on the grill. And like I said, it doesn't take that long to cook because they are thinner pieces of chicken. After a couple minutes on one side, I'm just gonna flip it and let it continue cooking on the other. And then we will just check it with a food thermometer. You wanna make sure the internal temperature of cooked chicken is 165. Now I took and put some pesto on top as well as some shredded mozzarella cheese, put the lid on it and I did have the heat off. I was just kind of letting that pesto warm up, letting that cheese melt from that hot chicken. And I served it with some easy butter noodles which take no time to cook. And then I fixed some more of those Parmesan roasted green beans. Those have been my go-to side dish right now. They are so easy and absolutely delicious. I have already shared those on my channel, so I will make sure to have the video linked down below for you guys and the recipe. You don't want to miss that. But this one was so light, refreshing, absolutely delicious, and it took no time to feed my family. Having to feed your family quick and easy meals doesn't mean it has to be bland and boring. Doesn't mean that it has to be a cold meal. It doesn't mean that it has to be the same thing over and over again. I really hope today's video gave you guys some new meal inspiration. These four recipes were absolutely delicious and so quick and easy. Perfect for those busy weeknights. I really hope you guys enjoyed it and I will see you in the next one. Bye guys.